have been cast into ancient England in the middle of a war. You will need to face the evil beasts that have invaded, save your friends from certain doom, and find mythical weapons and armor to uncover your destiny. I spawned right into the arms of a knight. I sprinted away. The city was under siege. Oh crap. Catapults pelted the city and I pivoted from the explosions. I ran around the corner to try to find some safety. Please, take her. Run! I grabbed the kid and I ran. Oh, hey, giants, I'm hit! I sprinted to the fields as the giants crashed the earth behind me. I needed to get out of the city fast. Mudflaps, run! Frick, more catapults. I put the little girl down and we sprinted through the battlefield when... Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, my head. Hey, get up, get up, watch out! Oh, crap, we need to get out of here. Still dazed, we ran across the battlefield for the forest to take cover. We made our way through the trees quickly when another soldier ah! came out of nowhere. Frick, run, run, run! We made our way down the road. You, come here. There isn't much time. Take this. Go to the Wizard of the West. He will guide you. Run, or his flames will... We crept around the forest looking for food. I needed to survive and protect her. I don't have a little sister, but I was feeling like a big brother now all of a sudden. We found a tavern on the side of the road, and outside there was some rotting food and some vegetables in a chest, so I grabbed it. I wonder if they have a daycare. I don't think they have a daycare. We walked into the tavern. I wasn't sure if you were allowed to bring a little girl in here, but... You guys don't happen to have a daycare or anything, do you? Uh, sorry. We don't have one here. Hey, get him! He's got the bow! Uh, I think you made a spell. Run! I'ma get him! No, stand back! I began pelting the tavern people with arrows. I couldn't run. She wouldn't be able to keep up with me. We made our way over to the stable, and I was crossing my fingers we could find a fast horse inside to take us away. Come on, run! Stop dilly-dallying! You're, you're kidding me, right? It was eating the wall, and then it tried to kick me, but she didn't care. She hopped right on it. I began breaking the fences and wood so he'd fit outside. He was a little bit chunky. I broke away the door trim when... What are you doing? Hey! Hey, hey! He ran away! I ran and jumped on him, and then we booked it to the city streets. Did you just stick your tongue out at him? We made our way up the path with the town folks close behind. I was on two hearts. I jumped off to try and find a place to hide. I ate some carrots, and I found some hay bales for some more food. Okay, maybe they're gone. Let, let's just go and see. We made our way back out to check, and I was spotted once again. I began bowing him. There was just one. He was stuck. Another one appeared, then all of a sudden there were more. Okay, run, shoot! I jumped into the mines and then placed some hay, and we jumped down together. Together, we were safe. They didn't chase us down here, though, so we ventured through the mine. I grabbed some wood from the supports. In retrospect, probably not the smartest thing to do. I made a crafting table, a wooden pickaxe, and began mining some cobblestone when I heard a loud growl. We weren't alone. Grabbed up my supplies and drew my bow. I kept her close in case danger was near. Stay here. I don't want to. I want to stay with you. Stay here. I made my way up into the open space and looked around. Dead ahead, I spotted some skulls with fragments of armor on them. They're all just staring at the lava. I grabbed the chest plate off of it and it had some weird writing on it. I grabbed the leggings and then looked around. I heard a roar again, but it was louder. All of a sudden, a beast burst out of the lava and hit me. I was not prepared. I backed up and began bowing it. I ran around the room. It was so slow, I thought, but then all of a sudden, it charged at me. Oh, goobers. Frick. It kept charging right at me. I did a lot of damage from range when all of a sudden, it hucked its axe right at me. My man is Sokka over there with the boomerang axe. I had to be careful. He was slow, but his ranged attacks were merciless. I was running low on food. Crap, run. Oh, I just touched that lava. I continued to sprint around the room, but it was so small. Oh, thanks for the boost, you big old cow. I praised God that I still had some carrots left over. I ate up and ran to the other side of the room. I continued to use my longbow. He was close. Just a little more. I can't die now. I need to save her. He charged, but I dodged it. I ran in circles, shooting and dodging. Oh, that does damage. No, no, please no. I was on fire. It was the end. Run, Mudflaps, run! Please, no, I need to live! The fire stopped taking at half a heart. I was saved. I healed up, and then I went back in for the kill. He knocked me to the other side, and I shot and shot, and right before he charged, I got him! Uh, his flames are coming. Only one of us.
Buzz is about to see flames, you old cow. The little girl ran into the room and gave me a hug. Oh, uh, yeah, um, yeah. We were safe. We made our way out of the mines, ready to take on the guards, but they had left. I found a pile of stone and minerals, and I mined up some coal and some iron. I made a furnace and smelted down the iron. Hey! Someone had gone to the girl. I sprinted over and... Oh, it's you. Okay, well, we can't keep it. He's so fuzzy. <laughs> hey, listen, they're stinky, they're loud. Don't shake your head at me. Rolling my eyes, I ran back and prepped the iron. I made some leggings, boots, and a helmet. I went to collect some wheat when I noticed the city next to me was on fire. The armies were moving close. We had to go. We hopped on our new crew member named Boris, and we made our way out of the camp in search for the wizard the dying man had spoke of. Okay, Boris, you are so uncomfortable. Sophie, get back on Boris. I'm just gonna walk. We made our way through the forest. The forest sounded alive, like the bushes were rattling. Ambush! We were attacked. A massive amount of goblins flooded us. Boris sprinted away to save Sophie, and I began fighting. He's got the bow. I used my bow, and I slowly took them down one by one. They didn't do much damage. It felt like they were trying to pickpocket me more than attack me. Whoa! Some little man with a staff began shooting magical spells at me. I took out the little gremlins, and then I brought down the shaman. Oh, huh, that was weird. I found Boris a little ways away. We got back on him and began riding again. We needed to find the wizard. We approached a giant stone wall that went in a perfect circle. Dead ahead was a massive tower protruding from the earth, holding all the secrets of our age inside. We cautiously made our way towards it. Guard her, Boris. Don't let her come in. <laughs> I walked into the massive tower and looked around. I was on my guard. I saw some furnaces on, and I ran over, hoping there'd be food inside, but there was nothing. I sprinted back. They were under some sort of spell. I walked up the stairs, and I entered the top floor. I got to the top and looked around. Out of the mist, a figure appeared and began speaking. Ah, uh, welcome back. You must save the kingdom. Leave the child and follow your destiny. I left very confused. I'd never met him before, and what destiny? I didn't want this. But he was right. I had to protect Sophie and find somewhere where she'd be safe before starting my own home. I made it back outside and we got Boris and left. I had to take her to an orphanage. We made it back to the city when all of a sudden we were attacked. Get up, boys. Mud flaps, get up! My screen went black and when it came back on, my bow was gone. I chased down the villagers who snatched it. I drew my axe and I cornered them. I'll shank you up, big man. It's three versus one. What are you going to do? I like those odds. I began swinging. I brought down the first villager, then the second, and then finally I brought down the third and he dropped my bow. I grabbed it and I went on with Sophie and Boris. We got to the orphanage and I let Sophie go with the caretakers. I don't want to. I want to stay with you. It's okay, dearie. We will take good care of her. I didn't have a choice. Me and Boris rode off. I, I didn't want this war. I needed to get far away. Way. Me and Boris made our way through the forest when I spotted some chickens. I went foraging and continued our journey. I found a nice open field, great for building and safe from the war that was going on. I mined a few veins of coal and some iron, and then I found a mine shaft. I explored it and even found some emeralds. Of course, only one. Oh, get back! I brought down the strange creature and left the caves. Whatever that was, I wanted no more of it. I got back to the surface and I mined a ton of spruce wood and some stone and andesite. I brought it back to the camp when I was hit out of nowhere. What is that? Another creature had emerged, but this one was bigger than the one in the cave. I created distance and began taking down the wolf. I had no food. I had to dodge all of his attacks if I wanted to survive. Okay, hit, hit. Ooh, oh, he can jump. The werewolf could lunge at me and even poison me. I had to be careful. I was out of food. I spotted some chickens. I took them out and then ran over to my furnace and slid them in. I juked out the werewolf some more and then grabbed the food. Ha, can't stop me from snacking. I brought the wolf lower and lower. I'm airborne. I landed and kept running. Get that man some Jordans. He has hops. He fell to my Ooh. final arrow and I caught my breath. No, Boris! A wolf chased down Boris, and I sprinted over. I took out the wolf. That's it. I'm fighting. That was the final straw. First Sophie, now Boris. They had to pay. It was time to begin my adventure, to find this sword and to stop this evil from spreading before it takes out the whole world. I forged some food, smelted it up, and headed out on Boris. We made it over a ridge when... Oh, shoot. Is that a giant? I hopped off Boris and began bowing him when he did a ground smash. No, back off. I brought him away and kept bowing. 
Come on, you slow ogre. He did a massive swipe and took out a ton of hearts. I kept him at distance, though, but I kept getting overzealous and hit. Boris ran to my aid, and I got more distance away. I took him down after a volley of arrows. This land was growing dangerous, and they didn't want me to find out what was going on. Wherever these werewolves and giants came from had to be put down and sealed up forever. Boris and I made it to the edge of the forest. Stay here, boy. I'm gonna look around. I wandered around. I could hear the howling in the distance. I was on my guard with my bow out. This place reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. Dead ahead, I spotted fire. <laughs> He's come without the sword. You fool! Alright, I got this guy mad. He's slow. Wait, he shows fire? I backed off, but then he charged at me and I began to bleed. Crap, distance. Okay, let me get through here. I kept spamming, but he was catching up. Where is he? Where is he? Okay, show yourself. He charged at me around the corner, and then he howled into the air like he was trying to summon something. I kept shooting, and he blasted more fire right at me. He had me cornered on the bridge. I shot him when all of a sudden... Crap, no, 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 not there! He knocked me off the bridge and chased. I ran for my life. Two hearts on fire. Go, go, go. I returned shots. He was going down. Come on, just a few more. No, I'm on fire. No, 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 have a heart, have a heart. I created distance, and when I turned, he had disappeared. I made my way onto the bridge after healing. Is that... Boris! I sprinted down the bridge as the wolf sprinted towards Boris. I distracted him and then he hit me into the air. I'm bleeding again. Come on, come on, yes! Ah, you will lose your way soon enough. Ah, his flames! Oh! Ah. My bow upgraded and grew with new enchantments. It looked different now. Killing the wolf must have infused it. You okay, buddy? I hopped back on Boris and we rode back to the flames he had just spoken of. What on earth? Yo, that thing is massive. I put on the helmets and then rode off on Boris. Were those the flames the wolf was talking about? I arrived home and put my things away. I placed down some furnaces and got some stone smelting. I began building my base where I would store supplies and soon grow an army. I built the foundation of of stone bricks. I made a small front side of oak to give myself an idea of what the rest of the structure would look like. I wanted to go for an epic medieval style house. I expanded the sides using oak wood and oak logs. I then began on a tower in the front for lookout purposes. I finished off the roof using spruce wood and then I used the rest of the spruce wood for the remainder of the roof. I went inside to put my stuff away when all of a sudden an arrow whizzed by me. What the soldiers? I ran outside to face them. Boris, Boris! I couldn't find my friends so I kept battling. They were grouped together so it was tough. First, I took out the mounted soldier, and then I began dealing with the infantry. Crap, they do a lot of damage. I gotta stay out of their clumps. I began using my axe as they were destroying me, but it was too much. I ran and continued bowing them. The battle lasted nearly all night, but I took them down one by one. Uh, at least we got the orphans. What the? Wait. Sophie. The barbarians had raided the orphanage on their way here. I grabbed Boris and we tore out. We had to get to the orphanage now. We raced through the forest. We had to get to Sophie. Boris, she's in trouble. Run. Boris turned on the jets and we tore through the forest. As we got closer, things weren't looking good. The entire forest was ablaze. What could have done this? We stopped at the home I was mugged at. It was destroyed. Stay here, Boris. I sprinted ahead. I could see the orphanage in the distance. As I made my way in, I saw glimpses of corpses as they disappeared. Boris had ran into. He was jumping around with rage. She was gone. They would pay. I got back on Boris and we rode out. I got off, grabbed some food, and then got back on him. The wizard was our key to finding who did this, so we rode off looking for the tower again. Uh, what is this? On the outskirts of the forest, we were faced with a giant bedrock wall right in front of us. Where did... Hello! Welcome to the Maze of Tears. Complete my challenges and I'll guide you on your quest fill but one and death shall come you have five minutes once you enter good luck you'll need it i needed to know who did this i left boris at the gate and i walked in a timer appeared and i began looking around the maze Ah, huh, this isn't so bad Whoa, whoa, okay, it's nighttime. Wait, whoa, what's that? I began to move quicker. I heard the noise again, and when I turned... Oh, a shrimp! A giant evil-looking creature appeared. I shot at it, and I ran. I ran down the hall, firing behind me. Dead ahead, I spotted some floating blocks. I jumped, but then realized I was on a parkour course. He shot flames at me. I had no choice, so I jumped forward. All right, I can make this. I can make this. Go! I jumped through the next few blocks. The end was my only escape. I had to go fast. Oi, slowpoke! Oh, no, he's coming. 
I made the jump to the granite block, and then to the floating iron bar, and then to the ladder. I had no idea how I just made those. Okay, just breathe and go. Okay, easy jump. I made it to the next ladder set, but then almost fell off. Okay, don't be an idiot. I was almost there. Time was ticking. I jumped to the iron bars, and then to the glass pane. I timed it, jumped to the ladder, but then realized... Wait a second. This, this isn't even a makeable jump. You can't even do this. I used my large brain and placed down a few blocks. I made my way over and got on the final stone block, and then... And I jumped and I made it. Eh, that wasn't even hard. So long, sucker. Ah, nicely done. But time is ticking. I rushed ahead and made my way through the next entrance. Find the four relics. Huh, doesn't look that hard. I hopped down into the field and looked around. What the? Oh, okay, it's just a bush. What the? A demon wolf attacked me. I killed it when all of a sudden a large vex-like creature attacked. These lands were not to be trifled with. I needed to find these relics and get out. Dead ahead, I spotted a chest. I ran towards it, and when I opened it inside, I found a relic. I grabbed it. Okay, three more to go. I glanced down a ravine when all of a sudden a boss bar appeared. I I turned around and a massive creature named Belrog appeared. I sprinted away. I found another chest, but inside only diamonds. Oh, another one. I sprinted away. The maze demon had found me again. I found the second relic and continued looking. What is that? I killed it and I took the loot from the chest. I began looking around a bit more and then I spotted the final chest. Are you kidding me? The Belrog and demons were protecting the final chest. This was not going to be easy. Okay, just gotta grab this relic and then I'm good. Ah, frick, no, no. I battled my way through through again. Come on, so close, so close. Grab it, grab it. Ooh, they despawned. I had the four relics. Not many travelers have made it this far. No one has made it past these next challenges. I made it into the final challenge. Amazed by the looks of it. Doesn't look so tough. Just gotta find the right way out, right? All of a sudden, a giant appeared and hit me. I started to run. It looked like an enormous enderman. Time is ticking. The clock was nearing its end. I had to make it out soon. I volleyed some arrows back. I must be close. Oh, there's more? Another had spawned. Wait, this is a dead end? How, how, how? All of a sudden, the gate fell and I made my way in. Where's the exit? I found the exit, but he batted me away. I sprinted on the other side of a column and I made it through. Right as the timer hit one second. That was way too close. He told me you'd be coming. You seek the sword of power, but the sword cannot be found. It must be earned. Now be gone. All of a sudden, I was plopped into the sea with an upgraded bow. Boris, you can't swim. I got on Boris, and all of a sudden, he zoomed ashore like a motorboat. We had to go and see the wizard. I didn't care about this sword people kept speaking of. I just needed to find what happened to my little friend. We made it to the wizard tower. You come here seeking vengeance. That is a dangerous motive. The land of the giants has been restless as of late. Venture there and you may find what you seek. Mid-ride, I was hit. I jumped off Boris and right in front of me, there was a giant with a huge hammer. Oh, that does a ton of damage. I made distance. I needed to get him away from Boris. I kept pelting him. He did another ground smash. I gotta play it smart here. All of a sudden, he seemed to not even care about me and started walking away. As I looked, I saw a cluster of giants battling. I took my chance, hopped on Boris, and we ran. We needed to find the evil responsible for this. We followed the wizard's directions and arrived at the castle. All right, Boris, let's do this. We made our way down and directly in front of us, giants were battling. We had to be sneaky. Let's go. We ran through the field. I looked up and I saw a platform with a cross. I hopped on Boris and we made our way through the battlefield. Go, Boris, go. She has to be up there. Me and Boris made it to the top and dead ahead, I saw it. You are too late. Hey, put her down. <laughs> Help, Mudflaps! No! I sprinted and dove off the edge. Please, come on, so close. I got you. Boris jumped off and caught me by the collar and threw us back on. Boris! Okay, get back, Sophie. Sophie ran and I faced the giant. Oh, put me down, put me down, wait! I was at one heart. I created distance. I didn't care about my health. He was going down. I ran to the edge and I ate and I kept firing. The platform was tiny, but I could do this. I kept on fighting. All right, ooh, okay, I thought I caught him there for a second. He was close. He was going to drop to my bow. I kept firing. When? No! Oh, okay. Boat! 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 Yes! Oh! Crap! Sophie! I gotta get back up there. I sprinted back up. Sophie was okay. Just a few more. He was close. I kept firing arrows and... Ah! His flames will consume you! He dropped some strange armor on the ground and I picked it up. Okay, now... Oh! Oh! Um... Um... Alright. Uh... Okay. That's, that's probably good. I went over and glanced over the edge. There was no way Boris could have lived. Mudflaps, 
Boris was my friend. Me and Sophie made our way out. We weren't away from danger yet though. These lands were still filled with battling giants. We made our way to the shoreline and we ran. We arrived back at the house a few days later. So this is the place. Um, it, it, it has no floor yet. I wasn't really expecting visitors, my bad. I left Sophie in the house and then went outside to chop down some trees. I wanted to build a wall around my house to protect us from anyone trying to take Sophie again. I began building the wall along the perimeter when I heard a scream. I ran into the house. A soldier was inside. He hit Sophie. I charged at him. I pulled out my axe. I was going to behead this monster. I was getting low though, so I had to pull and use my bow again. Finally, after many shots, my final arrow brought him down. I ran over to Sophie to make sure she was okay, and then I went outside and finished up the wall. Uh, what was that? Outside of my walls, soldiers began forming. The walls couldn't keep them out for long. I ran inside and I made a diamond pickaxe. I got Sophie and I ran to the edge of the grass and began mining. We had to escape. Our only option now was to raise an army and destroy this empire, or no child or pet would be safe until we did. However, raising an army would be costly. A fortress known as Franglingham Castle was once the powerhouse of the empire, now a haunted castle where no mortal would dare to go near. Except, well, me of course, as I needed gold that was inside it, and I needed it now. Me and Sophie made our way to the forests. I hid her away and then headed forward. There it is. I just gotta get in, grab some gold, and get out. Out. Easy. Won't even make a sound. If only I knew how untrue those words were about to be. I headed up the main stairs. I could hear weird noises, but nothing that strange. Maybe the ghosts that had haunted this palace had left. I kept roaming, checking everywhere for the gold. I found a dark hallway and went down it. I wonder who- What the heck are those? I was attacked by rolling men? I took them out and continued my quest. The castle seemed to be getting louder and louder as I went further inside. I had to be quick. As I ran up the stairs, I bumped into another evil creature. It cast fire at me. I began shooting at arrows with fury and I took it down. Whoa, these floors are trippy. I found a staircase that led down. Oh, I'm standing on somebody's table. I made my way into a closed room and inside I found it. Gold, yes. I mined a block when all of a sudden the noises sent chills down my spine. I continued mining. I had to get out now, but I also had to get gold, so I kept on grabbing the blocks. Crap. Creatures had invaded the treasure room. I went in for the attack. Come on, go down. I brought the first one down, and then I took the other one out from a distance. I ran up the stairs. Aw, oh, come on. Monsters were everywhere. I started to battle. Okay, I have no chance. Run. I booked it up the stairs. I had to get out. I nearly made it when I was attacked by a man with swords for arms. I took it down and ran. All right, another one. Okay, get poised here. Come on, come on. All right. I kept firing. I hit it while I jumped, and I took it down with the next shot. Finally. Oh, come on. A green beast guarded the bridge. I ran and shot and ran and shot. You're going down. Accept it. After too many arrows, I took it down. The shrieks behind me became louder. I jumped off the bridge into the water and I sprinted. I made it to Sophie in the morning and we left. That was something I never want to do again. It was now time to raise an army. I headed to the mercenary castle with gold in my hands. As I walked inside, I was not feeling safe. I took out the goal and men fell from the sky. It was an ambush. I began to battle. I had to escape. As I ran, my thoughts began to whisk in and out. I had only but one option now. I had to free prisoners and raise an army. I had wanted to hire mercenaries first, but now I had to do it alone. I made it back to the forest, gathered some chicken meat, smelted it down, and headed out. I needed to find a prison. Okay, this looks like an outpost. I began bowing down the soldiers on the outside, but soon they would alert the main core. I would need to get the prisoners out before the guards arrived. I sprinted in, but right in front of the prison, there was a statue. Move! Oh, uh, it's, it's alive. Back up, back up. The statue became a beast of war. I began to attack it, and then it hit me in the air. The soldiers aided it, and I was going down to two hearts. I gotta play this safe. Ooh. I was down to one heart. I barely made an escape. He had some crazy ranged attacks. I remained distance, trying to take him down from afar. Come on, let's go, let's go. I poured shots in, and then he jetted me into the air again. Come on, man, you're going down. I kept running to get distance. I took down another soldier 
and then another. He hit me in the air and I was low. I went for the middle and I smacked the sword and all of a sudden lightning hit me. Regeneration began and I felt stronger. What is this sword? I returned to battle. It was time to end this. He shot me back, but my regeneration was keeping me alive. I healed and headed back in. It's time for you to meet your maker. Ooh. He threw me back into the sky, but I wasn't having it. I charged right back. Come on, come on. He shot me into the air, but with no hearts left, I charged back in and I brought him down. His flames will consume you. <sighs> I raced down to the jails and released the soldiers before reinforcements came. We made our way up and we wrecked the remaining guards. We charged out. It was time now to take back the kingdom. We had to get more soldiers, but it was coming. Evil was going down at the hands of the people it enslaved. Oh, the love of irony. We made our way to the biggest outpost prison that kept most of the armies in their captivity. Getting in wasn't going to be easy, but we were ready to give up our lives for the cause. We did whatever any strategist would do. Charge, men. Take no prisoners. We booked it right into the main camp. Soldiers began flocking to us. We were here, and we were going to give them everything that we had. With Excalibur and a few men, we fought through everything. I ran to the prison, and while being attacked, I broke through. It lagged like crazy, but the soldiers began to rally. They started to slowly break out, and we took down the soldiers around. Let's go. That horse is not going to save you. The battle was long, but we finished them off, and then we gathered together and headed out. The army was at my side, Sophie alive. It was time to set things right for the Empire and for Boris. To the battlefield we went, ready to face the flames and the armies waiting. The men and I arrived on the battlefield as time struck noon. I looked back. The men were in tight formation. It was time. As we got closer, the enemy ranks began to form, and we charged together. I ran straight for the core with my army right behind me. I began swinging my blade at anybody who dared come near it. We're actually doing damage. We might be able to do this. We continued our onslaught. I ravaged through the middle with my army close behind. We were annihilating them. The enemy soldiers were falling to our blades left and right, but our army was taking heavy casualties as well. If we can destroy most of the army before the generals get here, we have a chance of winning. The enemy had some sort of evil on their side, but we hadn't seen it yet. We needed to wipe them out before it came. All of a sudden, a minotaur beast came into the ranks and started attacking my army. We flocked around it, but it was doing heavy damage. Everybody on that minotaur right now. The minotaur singled me out. I began to battle, but it shot me back. I ran through the battlefield, tried to pick off troops that were alone when I heard a noise coming from the destroyed castle. All right, this place seems like it was destroyed by something. I made it over the hill and jumped down when I was attacked by the undead. The evil had called upon the past lives of the people that once lived here, and now they were coming to attack the armies. All right, I need to keep them away. I need to use my bow. If they swarm me, I'm dead. I continued battling, but there were just too many. I had to get back to the battlefield. All of a sudden, the behemoth warrior showed up. Something wasn't right. Evil was close. I was fighting a horseman when I heard a roar that I had never heard before. He was here. I began making my way down the battlefield looking for this evil. It's a dragon. He's huge. With a great wind gust, the dragon made his flight into the air and then cast fire right at me. I'm on half a heart. I'm on half a heart. I ran back to eat some food. I was so close to death. He shot powerful wind blades at me, and I returned the favor with arrows. He flew back into the air and then cast another attack on me, shooting furious wind. He belted out a roar to try and scare me, but I pulled back my bow and kept firing. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of fire. Okay, I think I'm good. He belted out more wind blades, but he met his match. He was going down. This is for Boris, and this is for Sophie, and this is for everybody you killed. I drew Excalibur, and I tried charged in. I have the armor of knights. Your fire can't do anything. He was low. I almost got him, but he kept letting out a fury of attacks. He was pushing me closer and closer to the edge. It was so close. Just a few more shots. Come on. Come on. Wait. No. Sophie, I'm sorry. Boris, you're alive. With Boris by my side, we ventured back to face the dragon. I drew Excalibur, and on Boris, we charged. I swiped, and the dragon fell. We had done it. Sophie ran over to Boris and started petting him. It was over. We got together and began to leave, when right in front of us, the wizard appeared. Wait, it's you. No, no, please, no. Oh, my head. Where? Oh. Special thanks to Arts by Kev, Ex Nestorio, Corinthius, Coffee Fuel Genius, Amazed One.